In Greece, fabric and clothing were colored using natural dyes from shellfish, insects, and plants. Skilled craftsmen across the Greek world extracted dyes from these sources and combined them with other substances to create a variety of colors. The dyeing process supposedly produced incredibly pungent smells, and ancient writers would often comment on the stink in their works. Murex is the generic name for three species of mollusks that reside in the Mediterranean. The substance they secrete was used by craftsmen to create the most expensive dyes in the ancient world, the most famous of which was Tyrian purple. Fishing techniques varied depending on the type of mollusk. In shallow waters, fishermen could simply dive and catch the mollusks, but they set traps if the water was too deep. Being carnivorous, murex were often lured using dead animal flesh as bait. It was imperative that the mollusks be captured alive, as they only secreted the precious purple liquid needed for dyes upon death. The purple liquid that made up most dyes came from a gland in the murex. To collect it, workers would either crack open the mollusk's shell with a knife, or if it was smaller, crush it with a stone. Each mollusk only produced a small amount of liquid, and thousands of them were needed to produce even a gram of the substance. Because of this, captured mollusks were usually kept alive in seawater immersed baskets until enough had accumulated to produce a satisfactory amount of dye. The mollusk glands were mixed with salt and left to decompose for three days. Afterwards, the resulting mash was placed in a vat where it boiled until it was thickened and reduced to 1 16th of its original volume. The dyers stirred this mixture and removed any impurities. This process produced the foul odor so reviled by ancient writers. Dyers checked the hue of the purple liquid by dipping in raw wool. The hue could be changed by adjusting the temperature of the liquid and by soaking the wool for different periods of time, with longer soaking producing deeper shades. The wool was dyed once before spinning and again before weaving to ensure it maintained its color. While Murex purple dyed wool easily, it did not adhere as well to other fabrics, such as linen. Most Greek garments were made from rectangular fabric that was rarely cut or sewn. They were normally folded around the body with girdles, pins, and buttons. Dyeing served to give the garments a more unique style. Decorations were also widely used and were either woven or painted on. They depicted things like animals, human figures, and mythological scenes. Textile manufacturing and trade was one of the most lucrative businesses in classical Athens. Textiles were made of either wool or linen, with wool being the most common. Women produced the garments worn in domestic life, although some men ran professional workshops that fulfilled the same need. Other textiles were made by slaves and laborers under the supervision of master weavers, fullers, and dyers. Clothes didn't just keep people warm. They were used as a way to communicate social identities like gender, status, and ethnicity. These could be expressed through garments and accessories, but also jewelry, hairstyles, perfumes, and cosmetics. Wealthy Greeks usually had garments of the highest quality, and all their accessories were decorated with gold, silver, or gemstones. Parasols and fans were also an important part of elite fashion, and were usually carried by accompanying slaves. The most common Greek garments were the peplos, the keton, and the hymation. The peplos, typically worn by women, was a body-length cloth. It was folded back on itself and worn draped over the body and pinned over the shoulders. The keton was a long garment with sleeves. Ankle-length ketones were normally worn by women, while men wore shorter versions of the garment. A hymation was a mantle that was worn over both the keton and the peplos. Outside of daily life, there were also specialized clothes worn only in exceptional situations like weddings and religious ceremonies. <laughs>